Have you ever wanted to slay your enemies through the power of words? Are you capable of fending off the ceaseless assaults of over-eager keyboard warriors? Do you have the mental and physical fortitude to dive deep into that cesspool of angst and unreasonable commissioners that is Twitter? Then enter, stranger, but take heed. An eternity runecraft players will need. Some say magic is math, that the complex magic circles require an innate understanding of the equations and calculations that go into the physical laws of the world. Others say that magic is science. Your ancestors called it magic, and you call it science. A rare few will say that magic is technology. They claim that magic is simply sufficiently advanced technology that we do not yet understand. For runecraft players, magic is art. What are fireballs if not prominent performances of pyrotechnics? What is on Miyoji? if not carefully constructed calligraphy? What are golems, if not superb samples of sculpture? So you, who aspire to be the pinnacle of runecraft, pack up your stencils and create a Twitter account, cause Wolfie's going to art school. As an art, runecraft has a wide variety of different playstyles that may or may not work well together. Most of the time, these usually involve killing off enemy minions while you build up some kind of resource to fund your art career. Most of the time. The most common runecraft playstyle is spell boost. By casting spells and showing off your magical aptitude, you can build an art portfolio on Twitter, slowly building up your reputation and waiting for that one sweet moment when an internet rando with more money than self-control commissions you for a large R34 waifu or husbando portrait to hang on their bathroom wall. A massive payout that more often than not wins you the game. That, or driving your opponent batshit insane with a series of cancerous works until you get the aforementioned payout or they quit the match, quit Shadowverse, I'm quit through. Twitter, and quit the internet altogether. The second most common strategy that the runecraft players wield is Earthright. Where spell boost players rule the digital platforms, Earthright players are more down to earth, more worldly. They work with physical materials such as stone and marble, and sometimes paint. Not your watered-down wimpy paints sold in the local bookstore, but the real paint, crafted from natural sources such as ochre, hematite, manganese oxide, and charcoal. And in between these two respectable branches of runecraft, we have the NFTs. Most runecraft decks are control decks. That means they make sure that neither player actually does anything. They make you sit still while they slowly craft their art, then hit you with a massive receipt for a painting or sculpture you never asked for. They use spells to draw cards. Spells to kill your stuff. Spells to summon stuff and spells to make sure you don't do anything. And after those long hours of you slowly dying inside, they finally reveal their masterpiece, and you pray. Pray with all your mind, heart, and soul that it is finally over, only for your hopes and dreams to be dashed as, only for your hopes and dreams, only for, uh, Brain, did you fall asleep? Okay. I guess that's it for this week's video. Please make sure to like and subscribe for more of our content.
See you in the next video. Bye.